Yeah, it's been a while, right? It's been a while since we touched on this topic. Rightfully so. This fight still ain't been announced. What's going on? <laughs> what the hell has been going on? Anyways, quick, quick catch up. Um, Tyson Fury said if he doesn't knock AJ out within three rounds or whatever, that he's not going to come out for the fourth round if AJ ain't been knocked out within three rounds. I've been thinking, another message for AJ. AJ, if you go past three rounds with me, I'll quit in the corner. Because that's how confident I'm taking you cold out within the first two, three rounds. Out. Out like a light switch. <laughs> yeah, okay, alright. Um, yeah, what else, what else did he say? A whole bunch of crap really. He's been in he's been going to war with Eddie Hearn about Billy Joe Saunders. The so called favouritism Eddie's been showing Canelo ahead of the fight between Saunders, Tyson Fury's bestie Saunders and Canelo this coming weekend. He's been calling Eddie all sorts of names. I think Matchroom Boxing and Eddie Hearn are absolute <laughs> They're up Canelo Alvarez's this? run piece a million miles. Look on the fing web page. All Canelo, Canelo. Do you promote you're Billy Joe or not, you little <laughs> Frank Warren is worth 10 of your Eddie, you little sausage. He knows how to promote fighters, that's why he's a Hall of Fame promoter. What a prick. Any reasonable, um, any reasonable person would understand that one's a bigger name than the other, so he's probably going to receive some level of favoritism. That's just, that's just life really, but these guys, no, nah, no, nah, Eddie. He's the devil. He's the devil for getting Billy the biggest opportunity, the biggest fight of his entire career, a legacy fight. He's the, he's the devil for that. That's, this is exactly why he joined Eddie. Left Frank Warren, who they put on a pedestal. Like Frank Warren is this sort of... It's the same exact thing these boxing fans do online. They always try to slander Eddie Hearn, like, oh, Hearn this, Hearn that. And then it's like, who are you comparing him to? Who's this... Um, this honourable promoter that you're comparing Eddie Hearn to, where, where are they? Who are these guys? I like was talking about Frank Warren. Who, who are who are these promoters that you're comparing Eddie Hearn to? If this if it's that bad, it's just, I don't get. It. So yeah, that's what exactly what Tyson Fury and Billy Joe Saunders are playing into is because they know there's a market for that. There's a whole bunch of anti Eddie Hearn fans. So yeah, they try to milk that. Anyways. He's talking about Frank Warren is tenor Eddie Hearn. Are we talking about the same Frank Warren? Do you remember when the Dubois Joyce fight was about to happen? <laughs> remember Frank Warren carried himself ahead of that fight? Who did he want to win that fight? Was he saying, oh, no, no, I made the best man win? Hell no. He wanted Dubois to knock Joyce out. <laughs> That's exactly. He, was in, he had no reservations about that whatsoever. He said that over and over again. He wants Dubois to win the fight. Was he not promoting both of them? Was was he not um, Tyson Fury's promote at the time? Did Tyson Fury jump out his box saying, "Oh no, that's not right. That's not right. You should be you should be showing Joyce the same." I swear, Joyce is Tyson Fury's friend as well, isn't he? <laughs> I swear, he's Joyce. Um, well, he's not as much a he's not a, a BFF like Joseph Parker or Andrew Ruiz or or Billy Joe Saunders. Joyce is more like a distant, distant bestie sort of situation. But still, Tyson could have said, oh, no, no, what Frank is doing is not right. He's promoting both of them. You should show them the same level of respect, you know. You can't be saying you want one to win. That's not right. But, you know, no, nah, he never said nothing. But now Eddie does it to to Billy Joe Saunders, which I don't even think Eddie's doing anything that bad. He's still, I've, I've seen several interviews where Eddie said he actually wants Billy Joe Saunders to win, but I've also seen interviews where he said he wants Canelo to win. So it is what it is at the end of the day. They just want to do, like I said, they're just milking it. It's just on the anti matchroom anti-Eddie Hearn bandwagon, which leads me to, to um, Bob Aaron and Frank Warren to a lesser extent, but mainly Bob Aaron, like, what the hell has he been on about the past few weeks? Like, the guy's been all over the place. This guy's, I don't understand. He's been talking about Eddie Hearn's running out of time. Eddie Hearn's desperate here. Oh, Eddie Hearn is this, Eddie. I'm like, what the hell are you on about? Are you not a promoter in this? Don't you promote Tyson Fury? Like, what are you talking about, Eddie Hearn? Like, we all should, we all should be hounding Eddie Hearn for info. Like, hey, Eddie, provide this fight or like, what? <laughs> You see what I mean? You see how these people move? Like, 
like I said, they know there's a market out there. There's an anti-matchroom, anti-Eddie Hearn little wave going on. So they just feel, yeah, people are going to accept this if we just, you know, blame Eddie for everything. Because <laughs> I guess for, for some reason, Eddie's the loudest. So it's quite easy to do it anyway. So yeah, just blame Eddie. But Frank Warren, where are your offers? Aren't you supposed to be fielding some offers? I said Frank Warren. Bob Arum, it's the same thing anyways. I was going to get on to Frank Warren as well. Frank Warren, I thought Frank Warren said he, he had some sort of, he had some, he had received, he, as in Frank Warren, he received some offer from somewhere. What happened to Frank Warren's offer? <laughs> Where's Frank Warren's offer? What happened to that? He's talking about um, Bob Arum saying, oh, he feels the Saudi Arabia thing is a mirage. Like, well, if it's a mirage, where are your offers, Bob Arum? Go get your offers. If, if Eddie's offers aren't real, you should be providing yours. Where are your connections? And you got some connections for us? What's going on? These people are just jokers. They're all sitting on their asses. And Bob Arum somewhere in his ranch somewhere smoking all the finest weed money can buy and with making comments trying to put pressure on Eddie. Like, how, how embarrassing is that? <laughs> Like don't don't you have any shame whatsoever? Like it's clear you it's clear you're not making any moves. You're not doing anything. So just just if you're not gonna play any part in it, just you know be patient and see what happens. Don't come out here making stupid comments. Just the other week he was telling us, oh yeah, the thing's about to get announced. It's gonna be in Saudi Arabia. Blah blah. He was the one giving us all the deals. All the deals. Second hand information he's got from Eddie, but we're hearing it from Bob Arum. And then a week later, he's telling us, oh, no, nah, nah, the whole thing's a mirage. Like, what? You were the one that told us this information in the first place. What are you talking about? It's a mirage. Oh, Eddie's offers a mirage. Like, what? You were the one that told us the information first. We heard it from you before we heard it from Eddie Hearn. Don't, don't try it now. This was all a week ago anyways. Now it seems Ed, they've actually received the, the a binding offer, which is what Bob Brown had, had an issue with in the first place. It seems they've actually received a binding offer now, so... Yeah, we should expect something this week. <laughs> Eddie Hearn's comments. You heard from Frank Warren last night. He said quite rightly, we received the contract from the Middle East. All size lawyers have got to go through that and make sure they're happy with it. But where all systems go, the fight's on, the fight's happening. As I told everyone last week, back and forth with the drafts. I believe you'll get an announcement next week. I don't know what else to tell you. I saw Barbaran's comments. The fight's dead. I don't know where that came from. We know what we're doing. That's now being acknowledged by both sides, which is nice. So yeah, Bob, Frank, you, you two best just sit tight and wait. Just wait and watch Eddie work, man. Let's see if Eddie can pull this off. Pretty much just exercise some patience and let's see, let's see what happens this week. But for the record, for the record, let's not rewrite history. Let's not change history when this happens. You guys can see Bob Barron's comments and you've heard what Frank Warren has had to say over the past few months. We know who put this fight together if it actually comes through. We know who did all the work. So let's not rewrite history. Let's give credit where we're due. Anyways, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the entire situation. Fury's free round quick um, threat. Um, Bob Barron's comments. Billy Joe Saunders, Canelo, all of that. Just leave everything down in the comment section below. Drop a like, drop man a like, come on. Um, subscribe if you're new here, slap up the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, question marks UK. And I'm out.